Hi, this is Freytag. Let's talk today about the most important settings that you should enable in CS2. Otherwise, you will be playing with a disadvantage. So it's not particular news that CS2 is a bit more demanding on your hardware. And if you're running an older system, you're probably running it like at lower settings. But in CS2, there is one uh, feature that has been introduced. It is self shadow. So you can finally see not only your legs, but your own shadow. And one setting in particular, if you have on low settings, it is global shadow quality. If you have everything on low, it means that you will not see your own shadow while other people will see your shadow. Let me demonstrate it to you via one example. Going to load up Ancient because there are a few spots on Ancient that demonstrate particular disadvantages very, very well. Here, as you can see, your shadow sort of goes way way past sort of this barrier and so if somebody is actually watching you here or or even better yet if somebody is is sitting sort of at this spot uh they they're gonna see the shadow before you actually realize that that there is somebody you know anywhere essentially so just for the demonstration purposes right i've placed several bots there you can see that there is a shadow here and that something is moving there so like right here you can see that this particular light casts shadow here and if you're sitting right here at this at a spot you will notice the shadow before this person here realizes that they're essentially in trouble right however watch what happens so you see in the shadow right watch what happens if you lower the settings and if you change global shadow quality to let's say medium even the shadow is no longer there so you when playing on a medium setting you do not understand that your player model casts shadow and you don't understand how long the shadow is and so you don't really understand uh, from behind a corner from where you can be seen and what's even more interesting is that this global shadow quality setting right on high setting compared to low setting it doesn't really affect the game particularly much in terms of fps i'm using amd rx 570 with just four gigabytes of vram um 16 gigabytes of regular ram and uh, r5 2600 six core 12 threads but that's quite old processor it's really quite slow um, by modern standards but even that it's like it's giving me around 140 fps thereabout which is enough for enough to drive my 144 hertz monitor so you can see here's your shadow right there and you can see almost self shadow as well right and if you play on low settings you do not have the shadow and so again if you're playing versus somebody who does have enabled high detail um, global shadows you will be at a disadvantage and i understand that this is one particular spot in uh, on this map the same goes here there is also self shadow here so again it can be like if you're hiding here for example if you're as a city hiding here and you don't know that you're casting that long of a shadow it might be a disadvantage i'm using this map because it has these light bright light sources and it's like just really great example but it happens on other maps as well this is not exclusive to ancient so long story short you really need to play with a global shadow quality set to very high or high because these two settings high or very high are the ones that will give you the ability to actually see your own self shadow and it, and the rest of the settings don't matter that much really even shader details doesn't really matter that much you can see it is much blockier right so it's not pretty the look is not pretty but you can still see your own shadow and that's the most important stuff however i do recommend you to enable uh, global shadow quality at least on high very high if you want and shader detail not low but high uh, because it does not impact the performance that much but shadows become way better you can clearly see the improvement it's much softer uh, it's not so jerky that the edges are not so rough these two settings global shadow quality and shader detail are the ones that you have to put them on high settings global shadow quality and shader detail the rest of them don't really matter that much. Ambient occlusion drops uh, FPS a lot. It improves lighting, but it it really drops the, the FPS. Texture filtering, model quality does not really matter that much um, from, from what I have found in terms of like the visual fidelity and, and 
uh, just in general, but it drops FPS. You could see like how much it dropped actually. Um, it, it is right now already like in double digits. So not great. So that's why I'm just using trilinear smoothing and um, model. Um, I'm using it on low as well. And you can see that, um, yeah, essentially. Now we are in triple digits again. So once again, ambient occlusion, model, texture details, texture filtering mode, all of those features do improve the visual um, clarity and, and visual look of the game, but they're not as important for gameplay. And as a lot of people play in matchmaking and face it and whatnot, we care first and foremost about gameplay. And so for gameplay, if you don't want to have a disadvantage, you must enable global shadow quality on high and shader detail on high as well. By the way, I will include uh, links to previous videos about CS2. If you want uh, to grab my config file, for example, for training or for playing, uh, in other videos, uh, I have included the link as well. So all the links will be in the description. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more uh, Frytech videos. There's going to be way more content. Have a nice game. Good luck. Have fun.